Hello and welcome to another train session Berkshire video. In this video I'll be going through my recent train driving experience day on the East Kent Road. All footage was filmed by family or friends outside the cab and inside the cab footage was filmed by either an authorised person or an unmonitored camera. This is the first known time a train has been driven by someone with no disc syndrome, if not the first time as it is a rare condition with only 200 cases in the United Kingdom. Other two have driven trains with the other disabilities I have, which are dyslexia and autism. Anthony Fernville, who's autistic, drove 313201 in Eastleigh Yard a little while back. I was first given a high vis vest to wear during the experience, then I was taken to the local child be driving for the whole experience which is a Disney Trail Class 08 Diesel Electric Centre 08676 then I was given a, the technical data on 08676 which is it was fitted with an EE 6 cylinder 6KT diesel engine which reduces 350 horsepower when new 2 EE 650 tracks motors and 1 EE 801 main dynamo 08676 has a max speed of 50 miles hour after it is reduced from 20 miles hour it used to have and it has a route availability of 5 and a total weight of 49 tons. Then I've shown the control style of the driving instructor who is also accompanying me throughout the whole experience. 08676 does, does around 5 to 6 miles per gallon of diesel. History of the local 08676 676. 0676 is part of the British Rail Class 08 Diesel Centre of Class of Trains, which are designed as a general type of centre, which were designed in 1952 and are nicknamed Gronks. 08676 was built at Hodge Works in 1959 and entered service in with British Rail on the 4th of July 1959 with the number D3843. It was renumbered to the number we see today in, in April 1974 as part of the conversion to TOPS. It was currently owned by HNRC. 0867 is currently in Eagle to West, Liverpool, and is named Dave 2, which was have been done in the 1990s. During its working life, it has been to Warrington, Descott. Hilkson Yard near Oxford, Toton Yard, Barrow Hill Roundhouse, Rugby and Atholby Yard, just to name a few locations, as it wasn't added to a certain location but rather to the British Rail Board headquarters. The East Kent Railway is built by Colonel Stevens as part of his entire light railway, with other railways including the Kent and East Sussex Railway, the East Kent Railway is built to the new double track route between Chesterfield and Canterbury and Sandwich Harbour. The track never really materialised with the mine starting to close during the construction of the rise in the 1910s and the last mine closed in 1986 and the remaining line became a heritage railway in 1987. I did in total around 15 kilometres of driving made up of 800 metre round trip between Chesterfield and North Bank Lower Crossing two 4,400 metre round trips between East Zone and North Bank Lower Crossing and one full 5,400 metre round trip between Chesterfield and East Zone the 809 metre round trip was a trackless trip with the rest of the trips I was carrying passengers in the garage van in the form of family and friends North Dank Level Crossing is automated by a level crossing attendant, hence it made sense to use it as the start as the end point for a few trips. Some things I did notice about the class 08 I drove. Firstly, it had a stiff reversal to get into position. It might be a design feature, so if it is, it's a great one as you have to make sure you want to select the direction you want to go. I found I needed two hands to put it into forward and only one hand to get it into reverse. I also found the dri that the driver's safety drive takes 5 seconds to apply the brakes on an 08 from releasing of the pressure off the foot plate, which is a good feature because if you're on a section of rough track, you might lose pressure for a second or two and you don't have a 
emergency brake application. The local brake takes a few seconds to start to apply and release, so you have to be thinking about when you want when you'll need the brakes. The instant lights are super dim to the point where a torch has to be used to allow me to see them while when in the tunnel on the east tent row. We use a guarded lamp as both head and tail lamps on 08676. Some recommendations for if you want to do this yourself. Firstly go for a one-on-one -on -one driving experience though because you get the most driving for your money. Whereas if you go for a group one like when you can't any Sussex ride, you have to share your day with other people and therefore you lose out on driving as well as you guess sitting with your cars as well. One on one driving experience, you guess are more likely to steal in a guard van, which increases the feeling of speed alongside having a smaller life like a 03, 08, or 09, which increases the speed even more over a car 20, 37, 47, or 55. As you can crash a small local, more than still be under the 25 limit for healthy roads unless you're on the Great Central Railway where it's 45 miles an hour. I'm going to leave this video with a characteristic level crossing shot. And thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe to Friends Dustin Boxer.